The answer to the question in the title is no, but if you watch this video in its entirety, you'll at least have context as to why, because I'm gonna be diving into Orlando's most recent real estate market report. All right, so let's dive straight into it. We're gonna be looking over the month of April. I value your time here, so I won't be trying to waste any of it. And so as you look at inventory, which in its simplest terms just means the amount of homes available, we are up 1.9% month over month, so a measly amount, but we are up, as you can see, what looks like a staggering percentage, 92.8% year over year. And funny enough, I know we're on the first stat, but this is the number I get asked about probably more than anything else, because what you'll see a lot of other maybe real estate skeptics, if you will, they'll point to this number, this percentage, this huge percentage as a reason for why we should be seeing a crash because how could you have 100% more inventory and that's tons of homes flooding the market and we're not crashing. Well, that's negating context. Now, albeit 92% is a big jump, and to be quite honest, I wish it was higher, and here's why, because units-wise, we're at 5,148, as it says on the sheet. Pre-pandemic, the range of units that we typically have here in Orlando is anywhere from the mid 7,000s all the way up on the high end to over 10,000 units. So if you wanna average it out, let's say 8,500 units. And so more or less, we're still off about 3,000 homes for this market to truly balance out with inventory or even regress in some sense that a lot of people are calling for. So this 92.8% number would have to look something like 300% for that to be the case. And so it's gonna be really interesting to see the market reports that progress from this point. Let me know your predictions on inventory interest rates, prices, if you will, in the comments down below. But let's move down to new listings, which we're down 6.4% month over month. We're down over 20% year over year year as a buyer you want to see this number in the positive not the negatives because the more listings the better for you however if you're a seller out there or at least considering selling this is again a positive trend towards putting your home on the market because you don't have as much competition as futurely predicted is futurely a word i swear i just made that up definitely made that up. We saw a pretty insignificant decrease in the new contracts number month over month, 0.8%, which the difference there is about 24 contracts. But if you look over year over year, of course, interest rates were more favorable at that time. And so we have a larger decrease at 16.6%. Pendings are up 6.3%. So overall, more people are getting under contract month over month. But of course, you could expect that to be down 11% year over year. Going further down, we are not closing as many units month over month or year over year. However, if you look at the pendings unit number instead of the percentage, much, much higher than the closed sales number, which is always a good sign for where prices are gonna be. And as you can see, the average price is up 2.7% month over month, 1.1% year over year, and even more important, the median price as it eliminates extremities, 1.4% up month over month, stalemate year over year. And this is where I really feel bad for people who contemplated buying at that time, but chose not to because at that time interest rates started to tick up if you remember like i said last year april 2022 the average rate locked in was 4.94 percent the sentiment at that time was like okay the crash is now coming we're leaving the three percent realm we're going into kind of spooky territory and so a lot of people decided to hold off to only come back to the same spot this year even though here it shows zero or 1.1 percent as it averages it out there are certainly some neighborhoods and areas in orlando that have seen a much much larger increase in prices over the past April, making the opportunity cost of waiting that year much larger. So we're down slightly average days on market 8.8%. We're from 57 days to 52 days, which is up year over year a lot from 24 days. And if you look at the months of supply, which is the other significant number, you can see that large percentage increase. Well, like I said, in context, still way off from where we would really need to be to balance things out. So when you look at all these reports, the corny real estate phrase does seem true, which is time spent in the market is way better than timing the market. Let me know your thoughts on that. Where do you see the Orlando real estate market headed? If by chance you are looking to make a move, looking to buy a home or sell a home here in the Orlando area, I'd love to partner with you as your real estate agent. So you can reach out to me by email info at orlandowithmario.com and I'll be happy to get the process started with you. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one, but until then, stay safe.